Hey guys, it's Chris. From drug lords to savage criminals, here are the stories of the 10 worst of the worst. This is the most wanted by the FBI. Number 10. Rafael Caro Quintero Rafael Caro Quintero is a serious villain and has a long list of criminal offenses. He was originally placed on the FBI's most wanted list for the murder of a federal agent in 1985. If you've seen Narcos Mexico, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. He's the one that kidnapped and murdered DEA agent Enrique Kiki Camarena, among others. He has known many aliases and is wanted for kidnapping and murder of a federal agent, among other things, including the fact that he is a suspected leader in the new Caborca cartel. Rafael served 28 years of a 40-year sentence in Mexico for the murders, but was freed in 2013, most likely due to corruption in the Mexican criminal justice system. The US was furious and ordered him to be re-arrested and tried, and after just a week of being released from prison, a Mexican judge issued a warrant for his re-arrest, but by then he had already gone underground. In 2016, United States officials claimed that Rafael was back on the drug trade. They are now offering a $20 million reward for his capture. It's the highest price for all of the fugitives currently on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted. In May of 2020, The Guardian published an article that said his lawyers had filed a plea seeking an injunction against his arrest or extradition to the U.S. for the kidnapping and murder of Drug Enforcement Administration Special Agent Enrique Carmenera, who disappeared off the streets when he was going to meet his wife for lunch. His body was found a month later with signs of severe torture. The papers filed by Quintero say that the plaintiff argues insolvency because he says he is more than 60 years old is neither retired nor has a pension, and given the fact that he's a fugitive from the law, cannot work or perform any activity to earn money. I probably don't need to say this, but he is considered armed and dangerous. He has plenty of contacts helping him out, and the Office of Foreign Asset Control said that Caro Quintero has continued to engage in drug trafficking activities since his release. I don't really think he has a money problem, do you? Maybe he's just having trouble spending all of it. Number 9. Eugene Palmer in September of 2012, Eugene Palmer allegedly murdered his daughter-in-law in Rockland County and then went on the run. Tammy was coming back from leaving her kids at the bus stop. She was divorcing Palmer's son but still lived on the property, and it looks like the relationship was going from bad to worse. Police state that Palmer was hiding in the bushes waiting for her to walk back when he fired three shots. There's a $100,000 reward leading to his capture. Eugene Palmer has not been seen since the murder, and his family are starting to believe that he's now dead, perhaps somewhere out in the wilderness while hiding from law enforcement. But police believe he is alive and well. He was placed on the top 10 most wanted fugitive list in May of 2019, and this guy is 80 years old. Special Agent Andrew Fisher said that his age doesn't change the level of violence in this crime. According to the Wanted Flyer, Palmer is mostly bald with some gray hair and brown eyes. He's 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 220 pounds, and has a misshapen thumb on his left hand. He's a car racing enthusiast and an experienced hunter and outdoorsman. Number 8. Robert William Fisher Robert William Fisher is one sick monster. In April of 2001, Robert's daughter, who had been 12 years old at the time, went missing. She was supposed to be at a ceremony at her school, but she never showed up. People described Robert's behavior around the time of her disappearance as odd. A day after the young girl missed her ceremony, police claimed that Robert killed her. But not only did Robert allegedly kill his 12-year-old daughter, he also allegedly killed his wife and their 10-year-old son before blowing up their house in Scottsdale and then going on the run. This guy is a literal monster. He killed his entire family and then exploded their house. Investigators say that his wife was planning to file for divorce after she found out about an affair Robert was having. Rather than deal with the divorce, Robert figured it would be easier to get rid of his family in the most violent way possible. I think it's safe to say this guy belongs behind bars and should never be allowed in public again. Unfortunately, the murders took place about 20 years ago, and Robert is still missing. He's been on the top 10 most wanted fugitive list the entire time, and the FBI is even offering a $100,000 reward for his arrest. As of 2020, Robert was 59 years old, around 200 pounds and 6 feet tall. The FBI also claims that Robert chews tobacco heavily and could be living in New Mexico or Florida. He should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. 
Number 7. Badrush Kumar Patel Badrush Kumar Patel also has a $100,000 reward for any information that could lead to his capture. He's been on the top 10 most wanted list since 2017, but it began even earlier than that. It all happened in 2015, when Patel allegedly killed his wife by stabbing her to death in a Dunkin' Donuts in Maryland. He has since been charged with murder, but police have yet to catch him. And I have to say, it's a pretty bold move to stab your wife to death in a Dunkin' Donuts. How he's managed to stay on the run this entire time is absolutely insane. The couple had apparently been working at the Dunkin' Donuts during the time of the stabbing. Patel killed her in the back room while customers were inside the shop. He then fled and went on the run. His last known location was taking a taxi from a New Jersey hotel to a train station in Newark. He has not been seen since. He's believed to still be in the United States as it's basically impossible to flee the country these days as a wanted person. Technology is definitely a positive tool in that regard. According to the FBI, Patel should be considered armed and dangerous. Number 6. Arnaldo Jimenez Arnaldo Jimenez is currently wanted for a murder that took place in Burbank in 2012. He apparently killed his wife hours after their wedding and then evaporated into thin air. Arnaldo has a $100,000 reward on his head, and the FBI is asking to be contacted with any information that could lead to his capture. Authorities believe he could have fled to Mexico, or he could be hanging around somewhere in the United States near the border. When Arnaldo's wife was found, she was still wearing her silver cocktail dress from the wedding reception. She was supposed to pick up her two children after the wedding, but she never showed up. She had a son with Arnaldo and a daughter from a previous relationship. Authorities say that Arnaldo stabbed her to death inside of his car and then dragged her body into her condo and dumped her in the bathtub. Talk about a disastrous honeymoon. Number 5. Alejandro Rosales Castillo Alejandro Castillo is currently wanted by the FBI for murdering his former girlfriend in 2016 when he was only a teenager. Now Alejandro would be 20 years old, and he's still on the run. Alejandro is a native of Arizona. He's a white Hispanic male who was last seen crossing the border into Mexico. He's probably long gone by now, but the FBI does say he has some ties to Phoenix, Arizona, and may attempt returning to the United States. As for the murder of his former girlfriend, her vehicle was located at a bus station in Phoenix in August 2016. Two days later, her body was found in a wooded area in North Carolina, and she had a gunshot wound to her head. It's believed that Alejandro killed her and then ran away, though the exact motives behind the murder are unknown. Number 4. Jason Derrick Brown Jason Derrick Brown is another lunatic from Arizona. He's wanted by the FBI for a murder and armed robbery that took place in Phoenix. He's been on the most wanted list since November of 2004, after shooting to death an armored car guard whom he robbed outside of a movie theater before fleeing with the money. The guard was only 24 years old when he was murdered, and all he had been doing was try to secure the weekend deposit from the theater. He was ambushed allegedly by Jason Brown and shot five times in his head. He had no time to defend himself, but at least he died instantaneously and felt no pain. Jason Brown then fled the scene on a bicycle with $56,000 in cash. Authorities say that they managed to link Jason to the crime by fingerprints found on the bicycle. To this day, Jason has yet to be apprehended. He's 50 years old and has been on the run for 16 years. Considering he had a pretty substantial chunk of cash when he ran away, it's likely he managed to embed himself deep underground. Number 3. Alexis Flores Alexis Flores is another dirtbag wanted by the FBI for his involvement in a kidnapping and murder. Alexis is a native of Honduras who allegedly kidnapped and then strangled a 5-year-old child in 2000. This happened in Philadelphia. Alexis had been a handyman at the time, and it's unclear what exactly his motives were behind the kidnapping. For whatever reason, this demon stole the girl, strangled her to death, and her remains were found a month later near an apartment. Alexis should be considered armed and dangerous, and he goes under several different aliases, often being called Mario Flores, Alex Flores, or Alexis Contreras. Number 2. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez is also known as Elgato. He was added to the FBI's top 10 most wanted in 2020, and federal authorities are offering a massive reward of $1 million for any information that directly leads to his arrest. This is one bad dude. 
He allegedly orchestrated a murder-for-hire plot in 2013. He stalked a man named Juan Jesus Guerrero Chapa and was responsible for his assassination at the South Lake Shopping Center. Guerrero was apparently an attorney for a Mexican drug cartel. He was followed to the shopping center, where someone then ran up to his car and filled him full of lead before fleeing in a Toyota. But Jose, the man who's on the most wanted list, didn't actually commit the murder. He simply stalked the man and orchestrated the crime. He didn't actually pull the trigger. And this makes it a little strange that he should be on the most wanted list when he didn't even kill the guy with his own hands. He may have planned it, but what about the actual murderer? Maybe the police believe Jose can lead them to even more criminals involved in the crime. But in any case, the United States District Court issued a federal arrest warrant for Jose in 2018, and he has yet to be apprehended. Number 1. Yasser Abdel Saeed Yasser Abdel Saeed was on the very top of the FBI's most wanted list. According to a report from the BBC, an arrest warrant was issued the day after this guy killed both of his daughters in 2008. Yasser was a taxi driver, originally born in Egypt, who drove his daughters out to Irving, Texas, then shot both girls inside of his taxi. This was done because Yasser was angry with the girls for dating non-Muslim boys. This is something known as an honor killing, in which a father kills his own daughters for bringing what he views as dishonor upon the family. It's absolutely horrendous, and it really shouldn't be happening in any country for any reason, but this story actually has a conclusion. Yasser was placed on the FBI's 10 most wanted list in 2014, and finally, seven years later, was captured and taken into custody in Texas. Two of his relatives were also arrested, likely for harboring a known fugitive. He was on the run for 12 years before finally being caught, which is far too much freedom for a person who murdered his own children. Yasser is now being transferred to Dallas County, and he's probably never going to see the light of day again. So these are the worst of the worst out there, but do you know of any other criminals that belong on the top 10 most wanted? If you happen to know anything, please be sure to contact your local FBI office, where tips can also be submitted at tips.fbi.gov. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again soon on the channel.